Manchester United. My guy. My guy. Manchester United, man. Manchester is red. I'm betting you. I'm betting you. Team Nas. Team Nas. Man, that's that's not up to me. Give him a chance. Man. Yo, what's up, school fans, and welcome back to the vlog. Dan gue telat tiga hari dong, guys, untuk datang ke gedung ini, yaitu Gocita Arena Bandung, di mana gue di troll abis-abisan for the last three days. Orang-orang pada bilang, kok bisa ya Koroki nggak ngeliput game super seru antara Dewa United melawan Prawira Harum Bandung? Even Coach Dave sampai teks gue dia bilang, gue beneran nyariin lu loh di lapangan. Gila sih lu bisa nggak datang, guys. So Hari ini gue bela-belain untuk ke Bandung guys Untuk mungkin mencoba make it up for you guys juga Aduh, gak jadi ketemu om dinosaurus juga lagi kemarin ini <tapi>, Tapi gue akan bawa kalian nanti ke dalam latihan Prawira Harum Bandung Kita akan coba untuk interview beberapa pemain Mungkin sekalian nanyain pertama, pertanyaan kalian Kalian penasaran tentang idenya siapa sih untuk James Gis Jagain Galvez Solano Ataupun juga kira-kira Galvez Solano trash talk apa ya ke Coach Dave ya Jadi hopefully ini bisa mengobati Kemarin ini gue batal datang ke pertanyaan super seru tapi tanggal 23 sih Satria Muda dan Prawira gue nggak akan miss it guys. I'm not gonna miss it. Gue mungkin habis ini udah pesen hotel sama wush gue sih langsung untuk tanggal 23. But once again, just wanna say thank you so much guys for always supporting the channel. Semoga kalian will have fun. Hopefully you guys gonna enjoy the content too today. Jangan lupa untuk nonton secara full, jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk comment. Kalau gitu guys, let's go inside. What's up, Sultan? What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the gang, married group. Oh, <laughs> Selamat yeah. ya. Ring, ring. <laughs> ring. It's ring. Where's the ring? <laughs> Waduh, oke. Okay. Gimana setelah menikah? <laughs> Ternyata marriage life itu 0,1 persennya banyak ya yang harus dilakukan. Iya. Yeah, <laughs> Tapi seneng lah, happy Seneng happy, lah. yang penting mah happy lah. Yang penting happy, oke. Okay. Kenapa? Ibadah. Ibadah, betul sekali. Dan ini kemarin baik banget nanya nih, gimana kondisinya Sultan sekarang? Sekarang udah better sih, cuman ya namanya journey ACL ya, banyak up and down. Banyak up and down. Kemarin udah sempat ikut latihan di ITHB, ikut latihan fun game di mana terus udah sempat ikut latihan coach Dave juga. Cuman ada masalah kayak kerasa gitu ke strain, ketarik CL-CL-nya kemarin jadi MRI lagi. Cuman ya alhamdulillahnya hasil MRI-nya aman. Jadi semua nggak ada yang kenapa-napa. Meniskusnya, hasil yang bekas operasinya juga oke, okay, udah oke okay, katanya udah kuat. Jadi ya harus nguatin ototnya lagi karena ada bengkak kemarin. Masih pada naik sih. Playoff bisa main nggak? Uh, pengennya sih ya. <laughs> Tapi semua baik lagi nih. Ini ya. Visio saya. Visionya. Visio. Uh. Semoga bisa lah. Target sih intinya sekarang nggak muluk-muluk pengen ikut latihan dulu lah hmm. untuk main atau enggak kan semua keputusan pelatih. Tapi kalau kali ini yang kedua nih. Lebih berat atau lebih gimana menjalankan rehabnya nih? Kan ini satu tahun lagi nih soal break ya kan? Kalau ngelakuin penguatannya enggak, tapi di hatinya lebih berat. Mentalnya, sumpah sekarang yang kedua itu lebih ke mental sih. Apalagi sekarang up and downnya bener-bener terasa banget. Kayak udah enak, tiba-tiba sakit lagi. Udah enak, tiba-tiba sakit lagi. Kalau dulu tuh bener-bener dari no tiba-tiba enak bisa main gitu. Kalau sekarang bener-bener naik turun. Oke, oh, kayak gini tuh ada traumanya nggak sih? Trauma sekarang lebih ke jadi defense-nya sih. Karena kan kemarin kena pas defense kan. Jadi sekarang kalau ada kontak, kayak kemarin juga waktu fun game sama ikut latihan ITHB, pas defense-nya tuh kata Kori gitu masih takut masih kelihatan takut mungkin ya kat traumanya di situ kayak di otak ngomongnya enggak tapi badan kita kan nyesuaikan sendiri karena habis cederanya itu. Tapi kalau sekarang lebih pelan-pelan lah kami lebih pelan-pelan lebih, lebih sabar lah ya. Lebih sabar lagi ya benar. <laughs> Oke, okay. thank you Sultan. Siap, thank you. Get well soon ya. Dallas or Boston? Dallas all 
the way. Hey, come on. Kyrie. Kyrie. With Luka Doncic. Come on now. Grab a game. Six. I get six here. Okay. Okay. Dallas atau Boston. Man, Boston, man. Come on. Kenapa tu? Dari dulu. Ada. Selalu Boston tu. Selalu Boston ya. Boston. Anti Lakers. Lakers, Lakers. Banner itu ni. Yes, banner itu. Berapa game? Empat dua lah. Empat dua lah ya. Empat dua. Akhirnya ada teman gua, Boston. Boston, empat dua. Let's go. No, 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 no. Individual bisa menang final ni. No. Emang lebih deep sih ya, timnya. Tidak ini lah ya. Timo, Dallas apa Boston Timo? Okay sih, Dallas. Dallas, Dallas karena Dallas ngalahin tim berbuf jadi gua Dallas. Okay. No Celtics. Gak Celtics nih. Hey hey hey. Oh di Celtics man. Nah, main Dallas juga. Dallas. Ini semua pemain ni Dallas tu. Semua nggak ada yang Celtics tu pemain Prawira. Big win over the weekend. You had 23 points. I think 10 rebounds or 12 rebounds. 12 rebounds? Yeah, yeah, double double for sure. Double double for sure. Um, do you think that was your best game so far with the Prowi Red team? Um, I don't know. I don't think about it like that. You know, I don't think about it like that. I just try to fill in the blanks and do what I can to help the team win. You know, it's been games where we won by 30, and I might not have 20 points, but that doesn't mean I played bad. You know. Uh, we've had a lot of decisive games this year where I've stepped up into a bigger role. But, uh, you know, in games like Daywa, games like a PJ, days like, you know, when we have a big matchup, man, that's just when, you, when it's time to step up, man. All the times we do workouts, everything we visualize in the summer, you know, we play for games like that. And we played 31 minutes mm -hmm. at the end of the game. Of course, we all saw it. You pick up Galvin Solano, yeah. full court. Was it your idea or was it Coach Dave's idea? No, I told Coach put me on him. Because, I mean, he was killing us towards the end of the game. You know, we needed to get a stop between him and Miller. Like, we couldn't get a stop. And so, once Miller was out of the game, I told Coach just give me that, give me that, you know, that, that role to take on Solano. I mean, I've been doing that my whole career, playing against some of the top guards in the world. Solano's a great offensive player for sure. You know, he was killing us. And so I just took that, I took that, that, uh, Mm -hmm. I took that upon myself to, to go out there and try to get the stop. You know, I told him, I told him, I said, man, you're killing us. I said, but this is everybody else guarding you. You haven't been guarded by me yet. And he, he laughed. He was like, okay, you know, I knew I was going to get his best, and I gave him my best. So that's just respect. But you're 37, James. And that was like at the end of the game. How was your legs, though? You're like, your leg was fine. I just take care of my body, man. Uh -huh. I've been taking care of my body for a long time. Uh, that's just one thing that's given me longevity. You know, no injuries, anything like that. But... Still being able to play with that, uh, a lot of energy at 37, man. I, I don't feel 37. Let's just say that much. I feel 27. And you stopped him twice, man, at the end of the, at the, end of the game, man. That's crazy. Big stops, man. Yeah. Big stops. We needed it for the team. Uh, I told the guys, you know, don't help. Don't help. Stay home because if anything, he's got to finish over me at the basket. If he can finish over me at the basket, you know, I tip my hat off to him. Great play, great player. But uh, this time, I think, you know, I came out on top. You had your first experience probably in Bandung stuck in traffic for like <laughs> how many hours before the Rajawali game? Two and a half hours. I was in traffic two and a half hours. Damn, yeah. in the car and then you just yep. decided to take the motorcycle. I mean, Kang they, E1? They sent E1, they sent E1. I was probably 10 minutes away and they sent E1 to get me on the moped. And I didn't want to get on the moped, but you know, the game, we had to get here. So I did that and then we still got stuck in traffic. So I still, I ended up walking the last yeah. couple of minutes uh, to get here, but that was kind of like my warm up, you know? <laughs> you were sweating when yeah, you got here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got here, it was five minutes left in the first, okay. you know, first time in my 16 year career, I've been late. Been late for a game, been stuck in traffic, had to get on the moped, it's first time. But how was your experience of watching First Sip Live? Oh, I like it, man. I'm a big football fan. I like soccer across the, across the globe, you know, so every chance I get a, get a time to go see, you know, a good team play, especially with great fans, I mean, that was, the atmosphere was amazing, you know, and to see that and to be a part of that, it was, it was really fun. And I mean, they came out on top, and congratulations to them, you know. They got the championship, big win, big win. And what is your favorite football team? Manchester United. 
Maga. Maga, Manchester United, I'm man. Manchester, I'm man you. I'm Manchester man you. is red. I'm man you. I'm man you. I'm Manchester United, man. Yes, sir. Okay, last one. Dallas or Boston? Ah, I'm going to have to go with Dallas, man. I'm going to have to go with Dallas. I, I, I think this is a redemption year for uh, Kyrie. And, I mean, Luka, he's been on the big stage all his life. You know, he's played and he's made for moments like this, even when he was in Real Madrid, you know. They trusted him with the ball at the end of the game in situations like this. And he's proved time and time again that he's capable of stepping up and making those plays. You got a guy like Kyrie who's capable of making big plays. And the way they got their team set up right now, it's just hard. It's hard to guard them. They're picking row action. Who do you help from? If you trap the ball, now they got the short roll. They got shooters in the corner. They got the live threat. You know, if you go one-on-one, -on -one, can you really stop these guys one-on-one? -on -one? Not really. You know, so, I mean, it's kind of like a pick your poison with Dallas right now. So do you think Derek Lively going to be that, that third guy for Dallas in the finals? Oh, uh, who's gonna be the third I mean, guy? You got, you got Derrick Jones Jr. You got PJ Washington, who's really been shooting the ball well. Like I said, their bigs have been finishing. Their lob threats, you know. So it's kind of like you're in a situation where I think if you switch, you kind of got the advantage because you take away the help. But if you switch now, you got Al Horford, or you got these guys guarding Kyrie and Luka. That's not really what you want. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do. It's gonna, have, I think it's gonna be a small ball, you know, uh, series. I think it's gonna have to be a small ball series. How many games? Dallas in how many games? 4 2. I think it's going 4 2. 4 2. Oh, okay. yeah. James Giss, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate no you. No problem, no problem, no yes, problem. Sir. This one is better. It, it probably was the game of the year for sure. Damn. After, after like I sat down and watched it, mm -hmm. and saw everybody talk about it, it was a great game. It was a great game. It was a great game. And you see Mr. Dinosaur over there. <laughs> did, you, did you see? Did you didn't see the fan with the dinosaur? Oh, the dinosaur! Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was right there behind our fans. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Funny. That would be funny, but That's hey, how was your first match after with your good friend Delphi Solano? You dropped 31 and 9. So, can you just talk about the game a little bit and the win? It was great. Um, Jeff is just an amazing player, high level player. Um, you know, it's always fun to go against him. I know he was going to bring it. He was serious in the warm up. I could tell. I was like, hey man, why are you so serious? And then he just kind of gave me a head, you know, a knob. And, you know, we, we hug it out and stuff, but, you know, Jordan Adams too, man. He's a great player, NBA player. Lester Prosper is a great player. Uh, I got a lot of respect for those guys, man. Um, 
you know, they big guy, what's his name, Miller? Uh, uh, yeah, Tabari Miller. Yeah. Kyle Lamp? It was yeah. killing them. Kyle Lamp, I mean, they got, yeah. you know, yeah. one of the best rosters oh. maybe in the history of this league. So, it's always fun, and, you know, to go against them, a team like that. And you guys are 12 and 1 since you joined the team. Just want to remind, remind everybody that you beat Puita Jaya, Satya Muda. You beat Dewa United now. Man, you guys are making noise now. You know, the, the top the top team is not like, oh, Pravira is coming. What do you think? That was my, my vision coming in here. You know, I had a lot of noise. Oh, you know, about what I did last year and me not being able to do it this year because it was a lot better players. And I took that person. So, um, you know, all glory to God, my teammates and coaching staff for putting us in the position to be great. But also, you know, we put the work in. And, um, you know, those are great teams you just mentioned. It's a long season still. You just got to stay humble, you know. It's been our night. You know, one of these nights cannot be our night, like it happened in the BCL. But we stay humble, keep our head up. We don't listen to the noise. We don't do all the talking. We just come here to play Pride Wheeler basketball. And, you know, we got the best defensive team in the league. That's that's what my focus is on, for us to play Pride Wheeler basketball. If we lose playing like that, I'll be happy and content. And what do you think about James Gears picking up Solano full court, man, at the end of the game? 13 years in the Euro League, man, for a reason. Um, I don't think it's not a player as decorated as him in this league. Uh, you know, the guy got nominated for the old decade. Old decade yeah. Euro League team. That's yeah. Rafael over Rafael there. just hit a shot? Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, you know, and nominated for a whole decade Euro League, man. I mean, you don't find guys like that often, so it's a pleasure for me to play with him. Pick up his, pick up his brain and, you know, a 6'9 guy who, who can guard point guards. I mean, played 13 years in the Euro League for a reason, so, so happy to have him and so happy that he's getting his groove. Uh, alone, go coming along with the team. And you know it's making big plays too down the stretch. That's, that's my little superstar right there. You know, I gotta stay on him and you know, let him know who he is. You know, he's a humble guy, but when he's in the court, he's special. So I want him to always know that. And 20 day break. How do you guys gonna spend this 20 day break to keep everybody still focused, excited, you know? Going at it. Going at, it. Going at it. I mean, today was a good practice. We had two days off, day and a half off, and uh, today we had a three-hour practice. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going at it, five on five. You know, I'm gonna bring in intensity. I'm gonna make it game-like because I want to stay in game shape. So, you know, we got waving sessions right after practice. I, I think, you know, we we're not gonna let. I mean, guys like James and myself, we're not gonna let. You know, the, the work ethic go down. I mean, you know, we're gonna stay sharp and. Uh, you know how I practice. Um, you know, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, at the end, of course, you guys won the first game. You went on the pitch, met with uh, DDS, yes. David Silva, right? Yes. How was that experience for you, and what did you feel when you entered the pitch and switched jersey with him? It was very humbling because, you know, a guy like that, that you know, he's been following me since I arrived here last year. And, you know, this year we kind of have more connection as far as exchanging numbers and following each other. It was great. You know, I told him that was one of my dreams to kind of like after a big game, big crowd, kind of come down and just see it. Like, you know, feel like, you know, the adrenaline of it. So it was cool. Um, per C fans are amazing. DDS is a great player. So I want to congratulate the whole city of Bandung and, and DDS for being a tough scorer this season. That's my boy. Traffic was crazy though, right? Oh, that was crazy. Bandung is a, it's a city of, you know, great supporters. Yeah, I think probably one of the best in the country, though. To me, it's not the best. I think we got the best fans. I'm not from here, man, but when I experience, I think we got the best fans. And of course, the last one, Dallas or Boston, and why? <laughs> Dallas or Boston, well, I don't know why you put your, I thought you got your OG on Boston. I got my OG on Boston. But I got my favorite player than Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, best friend. He's one of my good friends, Eli Carter. We went to college together at Florida University, University of Florida Gators. So whoever wins, I'll be happy. But I want, I want Al Horford to get his first ring, though, to be honest. Who? Al Horford. Oh, Al Horford. I want Al Horford to get his, to get his After first After 17th season in the NBA. 17th season, I want him to get it. You know, I want him to get it. And uh, to, to me, to the country, that would mean a lot. That's my big brother, you know. Um, I, I owe them a lot. 
you know, with my younger years of high school, you know, spending time with them, um, you know. She got to take them jerseys. Sure. <laughs> I mean, whatever happens, happens, man. I'll be happy with Kyrie, too. I mean, me and Eli talk, you know, I've been playing on the Kyrie, so. Um, I was, you know, I'm going to maybe get in the gym with Kyrie this summer because I, I told Eli, you know, I just want to spend time with them and stuff and you know Kyrie know me since high school um, but Eli that's my brother we went to college together so it's like to me it's like I just a good just, just yeah. a great series just if, a great Kyrie, series. if Kyrie wins it's gonna be so hard to get in the gym with him though <laughs> two-time champ the world gonna be on his hands I mean I don't know man Luka Doncic is one of my favorite players you know but Al Horford is like family like spent Christmas with him He's in La Romana DR. He's like, you know, I was just talking to his dad right now. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Um, you know, his uncle he owns the team that I play pro in the DR. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's, it's a family size, both sides. So it's like, I'm going to be happy. You know what I'm saying? So? I'm going to be happy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. Okay, right? I will. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to be happy. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, thank you so much, man. My boy. Rocky P in the building, man. You already know. MVP? Bo MVP? Maybe. A MVP? We keep winning? I got one more target, though. One more I target? Got somebody else. Woo! I want to see what's up. You guys know who he hasn't played yet? <laughs> we all guys know someone. You better check out that game. So, B, thank you so much, man. As oh, you know. oh. Yeah! I caught that. Man, we don't, like I, like I said to you previously, a while back when we first talked, after that SM game, man, I love what we have. Like, this team is dangerous. And, you know, I feel like we kind of proved that. Every every night we proved that. And to come in here with the, one of the highest scoring teams and to do what we did, man, I feel great. Like, I was preaching to my guys on the bench, like, hey, man, you know, no offense to those guys, but we're making them play out of character. You know what I'm saying? But we have to get ourselves together, you know. And, Coach addressed us about that halftime, before the game, halftime, after the game. You know, we can't never be satisfied. With, you know, obviously we're happy with the win, but we can't be satisfied because we could do so much more. We could do so much better. I don't think yet that we had one game where everybody was just clicking. And I think that's the scariest part. Every night we have like pieces that do, but as a team, we haven't really had that. It hasn't hit yet. And when that do happen, I'm telling you. But you guys are 12 and one. You know that? That's the scary part. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. Think about it. We haven't had, like, we have good games defensively, but, like, mm -hmm. as a whole, for 40 minutes straight, where we're just dialed in, locked in, and everybody's just doing what we know we could do. Maybe it's going to hit eventually, but, you know, like, day by day, man, we're getting better. We're learning, and we're learning each other. So mm -hmm. we'll get there. Can, can you talk about your experience watching Persip live? Oh man, that was a great experience, man. I'm 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 so happy for them that they won the championship. I got I'm I'm thankful to be a witness to this year's championship, man. It was what an environment, man. Oh man, I had goosebumps the whole night just watching the fan. Like normally I watch it on TV. I, I, this is actually my first live soccer game like I've been to. You know, like I've seen games, but this was my first like game. Like that was man, I had to make sure I I damn near recorded the whole game. <laughs> it was it was a great experience, man. I had a lot of fun. Man, shout out to the Persib family for, you know, blessing us with those tickets. Shout out to the Parida family and everybody, man. I really do appreciate that, man. Great experience. Great last, experience. That's one. Dallas or Boston? And so me and James, me and James been having a long, like, we talk about this almost every day. And I can't, I just can't count Boston out. But for me, I'm giving Dallas a six. Who? Dallas a six. Why? Why is Dallas? They just got too much firepower, man. It's just too much. Really? There's only so much you could do over there in Boston, man. Like don't they got, mean? they got, they got some pieces over there. Don't get me wrong, man. But Dallas is just different, man. Like you got to guard, you got to guard Kyrie the whole game. You got to guard Luca the whole game, and then they got those floaters. P.J. Washington, Derrick Jones is playing out of his mind. These guys are doing unbelievable things as role players. Like they're dangerous. Like I give, I give the Mallet, the Mavericks first two, 
and Boston gonna win at home, and then Dallas gonna close them out. They or when they, they go Boston, Boston they gonna go Boston. Boston then I yeah. probably give Boston one at home. Then. Okay. I give Boston one at home, and then right. Dallas gonna take that next one. All right. We're gonna yes, get sir. that lunch, bro. We're gonna get that yes, lunch sir. at Oprah, bro. Yeah. Let me know, bro. Yeah, Hit me. For sure. For sure. Let for me sure. Know. Next I'm time here. I'm here. Next time I'm here. Yep. Against right, SM. Against yes, SM. I see. When I do see the the mess, masih ada kamar kosong, guys. Gue nyesok main nggak datang. <laughs> Kamar kosong masih ada kita bisa di atas masih ada eh, masih ada gue kayak playoff mau nginep di Bandung nih kayak mau tinggal di Bandung gue di playoff pas playoff biar nggak nyesel kayak kemarin gitu. Mau hmm. mau tahu atmosfernya gimana kemarin pas lagi lawan dewa ada mas mas dinosaurus ada <laughs> itu family family mantap atmosfernya mirip mirip game dewa tahun lalu game PJ hmm. tahun lalu itu sih ya emang rivalitas ya kayaknya sih udah mulai ya bagus lah kita harus bikin sih rivalitas harus ya bikin, seru ya. <laughs> <laughs> tapi lo nonton Akhirnya, akhirnya nonton nonton di video.com ya, ya, uh, nonton dengan nggak enak hati <laughs> dan penuh penyesalan <laughs> dan penuh pikir nggak bisa tidur gue <laughs> serius serius nggak bisa tidur gue malam itu gue bener kepikiran so gue ada plan semuanya udah plan semuanya terus tiba-tiba last minute Marquis sama Grand bilang datang ke PJ gue yes, berubah so. pikiran ternyata Grand sama Marquis cuma dua menit <laughs> Jadi ya udahlah belum rezeki lah. Belum rezeki. Uh, uh, next one, next one. SM, SM. Next time. Next lawan SM, SM datang. Lawan SM udah wajib datang nggak mungkin. Tapi gue mau nanya lo deh sekarang. Pendapat lo ngelihat James Gis jaga Solano gak? Wah, um, sebenarnya gue udah lihat dia hmm. bisa jaga siapa aja tuh udah dari BCL sih. Hmm. Kayak BCL kan dia sempat beberapa kali jaga guard guard dari tim tim lawan kan. Itu benar-benar lockdown, benar lock lock banget kayak hmm. gak kemana-mana. Terus dia sempat ngomong kayak. Kalau gue jaga siapapun pokoknya jangan help, jangan help, jangan help. So yeah, we trust him. So <laughs> subscriber gue nanya, bisa live bareng nggak kapan-kapan? Let's go, let's go, ya. let's go. Boleh lah, biar mereka bisa nanya-nanya yeah, langsung sama lo. Let me know, guys. Guys ya. Discord, Discord. Yes sir. Of course, appreciate you, Yuda. Yes sir. As thank always, you, thank you. Ah, right, we are here with Coach James Singel, Coach. What's going on, man? Not much, man. Yes, I'm just. I can't. I still can't believe I didn't go to this. Game last you know, weekend, bro. I tried. I tried to tell him. You know, he didn't really understand. I was looking for him, and then I realized, oh, okay, he chose the other side than us. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, he's for the culture, so, you know, he got to balance it out sometimes. That was a great f game, though. Yeah, it was. last weekend. It really was. It and really then was. with the new squad, the new look, 12 and one, mm-hmm. big win over there well last weekend. How much happier are you? right now with the progress of the team? I'm so much happier. Uh, I feel like uh, this is just a whole new energy with the team. Even though we had some struggles in the BCL at times, I feel like we were still figuring ourselves out. We were still young and early in our chemistry. And right now, I just feel like there's a whole new vibe, a whole new energy. The boys are loving what's going on. Everybody's buying in. And um, and you can see things are really working well right now for us. So not only are we playing really good defense, I think our offense is starting to pick up and players stepping up, man. So it's good. You know what? I was watching the fourth floor. Yes. It was so intense. Yes. It was so close. Back and forth. I was just keep knocking my head <laughs> on my sofa. Right. Like, why am I not I wish here? I was there. Right, right. It was it was a game not to miss. It was a game not to miss. So do you think this is like a rivalry now? It has to be at this point. I mean, it's, this is the third year where we've had complete wars. I mean, two playoff games, even our regular season games have been, you know, down to the wire against this team. and. They're so good, well coached now. They got so many good players. You know, they got Lester and then the three imports and then Caleb and all these guys. So, such a good team. And uh, you see, I mean, even us being a great defense, they're still able to score and make plays. So it's a credit to them. Uh, but I'm just so happy that you know we're able to even out the series this season. Um, we haven't done, we haven't had any type of uh, real losses against them in the last year in the regular season. But this year, it's such a different team and such a better team. So. Uh, we're happy and we think this is a real rivalry and uh, we hope it keeps going. I think, I hope it's gonna keep going yeah. too. Next year, I learned my lesson. <laughs> Next season, I learned my lesson. Hey, I'm man. coming for that game for sure. Can't turn down <laughs> Bandung, man. You can't turn down Bandung. Bandung is crazy. Yeah. That, you see yeah. Mr. Dinosaur? It was all, man, that, he, he caught my attention. Usually I don't worry about the crowd, but I looked and I said, is that a dinosaur <laughs> costume? Like Halloween, man. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I love the fans. Credit to them. They, they made a crazy atmosphere. It was a good, good night. And what was your reaction, though, when James Gis at the end of the game asked you yes. to guard Delphi Solano? He did. You know, uh, we were we were kind of struggling with that matchup. Obviously, we don't, we don't have enough people to guard enough imports. They got three players on the quarter at a time. Uh, import, so we had to move people around. We had Brandon on Jordan Adams, and then we had to put Firdan on Solano, and it just, it wasn't working out for us. You know, he's a tremendous basketball player. 
And uh, James said, you know what? This is the guy that's hurting us right now. Let me take him. With all my experience, my EuroLeague experience, guarding some of the greatest players in the world um, at 37 years old, to be able to slide his feet like that, move his feet, and take on that challenge, it completely changed the game for us. And I thought it ultimately won us the game. And he played 31 minutes. 31 minutes, man. You know, there's been other times where James looks tired at times. And to be honest, I didn't see any of that. Uh, he's been in every big game possible. He's played in front of 20,000 people, Euro League. So uh, this environment, I think he was very comfortable with. And in that moment, you know, Solano was at the line. He was just like, I got him. And everybody in the gym kind of heard it. And it was like, all right. And he stood up to his word, man. He stood up to his word. So it was a, it was a, heck, of a heck of a defensive effort by him. And, you know, against a great player like Solano. Two big stops. Two, two of them. It's crazy. Two of them consecutively, yeah. and uh, we needed it because that's that's their closer. You know, that's their guy that they put the ball in his hands at the end, and he makes plays. And uh, to make that adjustment, you know, in the split seconds like that, in the middle of a heated game, was a was a big deal for him. So that's why you get James Gist. That's, that's why. That's, <laughs> why you, that's that's why you get him and. Uh, he's teaching us stuff all the time. So, you know, you're going to learn from a guy who's played it with so many great European coaches and people like that. And you got to remember, Solana just hit a three and an N1. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. So it was like, you know what? He was like, enough is enough. Yeah. You know, this is the guy that's hurting us. The other guys aren't hurting us as much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just had to do it like that. Man, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Though. Okay. Wow, well, that's my next question. I forget my community. Okay. Everybody keeps saying, let Coach Dave cook. Let uh, Coach Dave cook. Right. Because Solano had eight turnovers. Yes. And Jordan Adams only had one three point attempt. Thank you. So, was that your sh strategy or your game plan coming in to limit uh, Jordan Adams from shooting three points? It was. I mean, we wanted to, we understood how hot he was. I mm. mean, his shooting is pretty much unreal. Uh, every team that he plays, he's hitting five or six threes. He's hitting three threes in a row. He's just, uh, that really gets him going, we feel, his, his shot. And we felt like, you know what, let's make Jordan drive it. Let's make Jordan put the ball on the ground and uh, make him be an attacker. He's a heck of a player, uh, but you got to take away something. And I know, obviously, he'll try to be better the next time, but that was a part of the plan. And then Solano, we know that um, he loves to play with the basketball. And at times, you can make amazing plays, and at times, anybody that plays with the basketball like that can lose it or do things like that. So um, again, it was a part of the plan. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a part of the plan. I can't give away everything, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it did work out. I mean, those guys still played well, but ultimately it did work out in the end. I want to pick up your brain, bro. <laughs> like, like, how did you think about all this stuff? A lot, you know? man. It's all the study on the film. I mean, that's what, since I got into Indonesia, mm -hmm. even before, like, I feel like that's what I brought to this country. It was like, people be like, man, coach, we watch a lot of video. You know, you're always watching video for an hour and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, because sometimes it's better to wor worry about the mental than the physical. Like, everybody wants to practice and play and play and play, but it's like, let's study. Let's see what happens. Let's see the tendencies of a player. Let's see what they like to do, what they don't like to do. And then we try to plan for that. I mean, we've done that tr pretty much all year, and that's actually why I don't know how many people know this, but we are the number one defense in the IBO right now uh, because of that. I mean, that was the number one offense in the league, but we've been pretty consistent as the number one defense in the league for quite a while right now. And uh, I think it has a lot to do with our planning and the boys buying into the plan and all that stuff. How much film do you watch in a season? <laughs> Ooh, I can't even think, man. I mean, or maybe in a day. Well, every day I watch at least a game, okay. uh, whether it's our game or somebody else's game. Okay. I do love to watch other games from J Japan, Taiwan, okay. or even NBA. Are we talking about different leagues? Yeah. Uh, everywhere. I just like to pick up things and learn things and see what other coaches are doing. So I like to watch a lot. And then that's one thing I push on the players is like, you guys watch. I mean, film and video is a big part of our program. And it's just a huge piece to care about that side of it. Like, we felt like early in the year with some of our new players, we had, you know, seven new people we felt like people were just playing the game and not really understanding what's going on within the game. And so we had to get back to that and understand, hey, slow down. Let's focus on studying the game. Let's focus on learning the game. And I think now we're starting to see that people are starting to be a little bit more cerebral with the game and, and not so much chaotic. Like, you are so, you, you watch a lot of basketball. Lots. Like, a lot of basketball. Lots. You could still pick up a thing or two every day. like. I, tr I try to, I try to, I mean, first of all, because I love watching basketball, so it's easy for me, but I also think like, uh, yeah, I mean, there's always, you can always tell from coaches what they're trying to do, where they're trying to go, and even just defensive offenses they're trying to throw in, like I'll steal a play from a coach from another team and then put it in our game, you know, the next day, and I'm sure a lot of coaches do that in this league, but uh, we just take it very serious here, 
and uh, we put a lot of hours into the video, so uh, we hope that it pays off for us. Okay, LeBron, JJ Reddick. <laughs> <laughs> this is your guy hey, now. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still trying to get on y'all their level, but you know that's 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 exactly it. I mean, the same example that they're setting is why they're so smart and why they've been so good. Do you, you know? watch their podcasts and then yeah, pick up a man, thing or two from ab there? Absolutely, and then some of the stuff that they talk about is the same stuff we talk about. You know, some of the some of the words that they use, some of the language that they use is the same stuff that we talk about. So, what I like is that it validates you know what we're doing here, and, and that's always important. Do you ever get bored of watching basketball? There are some days I do, like, uh, I'll be honest, but it's so hard with this season because it's so jam-packed. There's just always a game after a game and then getting prepared for this. So um, actually right now is a time where maybe I might take a day off of it. We got a little bit of downtime before our next game, but still I'll probably sneak a game in at night or something before I sleep or something like that. All right, I've been saying this for a while. Team uh -oh. Nas. Team Nas. Man, that's, that's not up to me. Give him a chance. Man. Come on, this guy is a basketball mania. <laughs> you know? I, I love it, man. Yeah. And, and the one thing I would say about that, I mean, look, I'm not here to pro campaign or yeah. anything like that, but I love the country. I know the players. I know the culture. I know it works here. I know it doesn't work here. And I just think uh, I get it. I get what, 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 what pushes these local players and, and, and where you kind of can't go with them. And I think uh, I have the respect around the league, but ultimately that's going to be up to the decision makers. Yeah. I just know, they just have to know that I'm here and I would love to represent the country. Guys, this is might be your last chance. You know, we don't know next <laughs> season where he will be at, even though all the Bandung fans want you to come back. Yeah, of course. But I don't know, if probably that talk is going to be on hold until the end of the season, right? Yeah, we just yeah. focus on the season right yeah, now. Exactly. Right now. Just focus on the season. How do you, get, how do you keep this, all these players interested and, yeah. of course, excited? Because before we I forget, they set it up for you guys to advance to the BCL, right? That's why you had to Don't remind me. <laughs> I know. This is for just information. I know. So you have a 20 day break after a big win over day one. Right. You know, everybody probably want to keep playing, but how do you keep everybody interested and, of course, excited for the next 20 days? Yeah, I think it's just about uh, fighting ourselves. I mean, that's ultimately what life is, really. I mean, we're just in a battle with ourselves daily. So. Uh, we just create practice challenges. We create new things for them to see. We create uh, different uh, things for them to look at. And I think uh, just understanding the ultimate goal. Everybody here, I mean, even we beat Dewa, I mean, there were so many mistakes. I mean, people messing up over here, messing up over here. And so as everybody sees that, it's like, well, you know what? I got to get better. I mean, even me as a coach, I got to get better. So if everybody has that type of mentality, uh, we make sure that we build it. We don't push it too early. We make sure we build up to that day 20 days later. But we'll give some downtime, we'll do some team building stuff, some team bonding stuff, but everybody knows they gotta be better, man. And next game, as you guys know, again, again, Satya Wachana. Right. And then the next game, right. another big game, again, Satya Muda. Of course, everybody was shocked. I was shocked yeah. yesterday. I probably think you're shocked too with uh, Satya Muda releasing Jared. But, you know, what do you think about teams like changing imports, right? before? A playoff do you think that's gonna change the competition and how worried are you about it and of course what changed um, I think I think it is I mean it's always a strategy every team has their own thing that I can't comment on mm -hmm. Jared's a tremendous basketball player I think uh, he's obviously put his mark in this league and he's playing so well this season uh, but teams kind of have ideas maybe to shock teams and where teams can't understand who you're bringing in until too late and you can't scout them and then it's kind of a new boost for the team so um, I think Jared is a heck of a player. Unfortunately, that happened to him, but SM's going to make the decision, and that's their ultimate decision. But I respect Jared and uh, what he's done in this league, and I always thank him for that. You guys went to Persip Bayern yes, game. Yes, yes. So much fun. Won a championship. Yep. Just, well, how was your experience, though, taking all the guys, you know, watching, and of course for yourself also, watching Persip Live? It was, it was great. I mean, this was probably the most exciting time I went. That was my third time I went. But this was the most special time because it was a final and our team, you know, uh, had 10 years of not winning a final. So we know how hard the management works and everybody around there and how their season was kind of down. And then they made a coaching change and it went up. And so uh, it was just beautiful to see the people of Bandung and even just Jawa Bharat all over just come out in, in full force, screaming, yelling, making noise. And then the second half of that game was really, really special. So. Uh, it was great for us to see it. It was great for the boys to see that again, to see another championship kind of environment, atmosphere, and I think it really fueled us a little bit more as well. That was crazy though, from Medan? 
Yes. Right away? Full day. So Medan, Medan to Jakarta. Jakarta on the bus all the way down wow. in the traffic. And we made it. We made it, man. So it was a, quite the day. That next day we were all done, <laughs> exhausted, tired, but it was worth it though. It was worth what it. What did you experience the crazy traffic last weekend? Just like James? <laughs> Gosh, I mean, that was the thing. I think we all planned for it, but even planning for it, it still wasn't a good situation. I mean, even Nadan had to leave, I think, three or four hours early to okay. the game. Um, it just, you know, the city was just on lock, man. Everybody was flooded. The whole, the whole all the people showed up and showed out, and we understand that. I mean, that's what happens when you win a championship. So uh, we hope that that's the same treatment we get if we do it again. Hey. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see when that comes. And, you know, I cannot let you leave without talking about NBA. Yeah. You got some relation because Jason Kidd is from Oakland, right? Totally. Right? Totally. I'm not wrong, right? Absolutely. So what's your pick? Dallas or Boston? Oh, I'm going 100% Dallas. Got to go, gotta go with Jay Kidd. I gotta go with Kyrie. Um, I gotta go with one of my favorite players growing up, his son, Tim Hardaway, Tim Hardaway Jr. When I was growing up as a kid in Oakland, I used to have his jersey and doing all his Hardaway crossovers. So that whole mix of that, I like the Derek Lively story. Um, so that that whole thing for me is just, uh, I gotta go with the Mavs, man, I gotta go. But who do you think gonna be the third guy at all for the Mavs? Because Boston, you got Drew, you got Derek, yeah. and then you got Al. Probably like one, two I games, going to go crazy. I think it could be Tim or PJ. Okay. PJ has been stepping up. I mean, obviously they're not really known for that role, but I think somebody's going to have to do it. And uh, I just think the power of Kyrie and Luka, man, it's just, uh, it's just a special thing. And I think it, to me, is greater than those two. Mm -hmm. um, Drew is a difference maker, but uh, I would just say I think Dallas can do it, man. Everybody keeps saying Jason Kidd is not a good coach. And he's in the finals now. He's in the finals, man. You know, I mean, at the same time, like, some of it's X's and O's and what you got in the situation, and other of it is like the talent he's got. I mean, he's got two of the premier scorers and playmakers in the league, and uh, he's got a good roster behind it. So his time has come. He was a heck of a player, and I think now he gets to prove people wrong, man. Just like you. You got Brandon, and there you got you, go. that. That's right, man, the dynamic duo, <laughs> yeah. man. That's, that, that's what we got to keep having, and uh, I'm just blessed that we have him. So many, how many games? Dallas in how many games? I think six. Okay. I think mean? six. We'll see. We'll see. It could be seven, but I think six. Only me and Donda had Boston. Well, of course, Donda's favorite team is Boston, <laughs> but I, I got the Mavs, man. I think the Mavs are the team, and I, I really hope that they win. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Right, I really appreciate your time. Thank oh, you, my man. God. It went over. Okay. <laughs> it was okay. like 15 minutes, I think, right. just our conversation, but always fun talking always, to man. you. Always. You know, and I think I might move. To Bandung, man, for the playoff, bro. It's the place to be, man. It's the best place to be. You don't got to worry about traveling. The weather's great. The food is great. Come on down, man. I know, man. It's just too bad that I can only watch and cover the first round. True. Because semifinal and the finals, I'll be in the Olympics. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. I'm not mad at you for that, man. No. What an experience. But, hey, buddy, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Hopefully, this is made up. For my yeah, a <laughs> little bit, a little bit. We'll forgive him. We'll forgive him. Yeah, but yeah. next time I will miss it for sure. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much, coach. Thank you, man. For, for, all right, man. For the all access today. Yes, sir. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. See you guys.